Hi and good evening from a wet, windy, rarely miserable Waxford. Probably the same with up and leech on where Philip is. It looks like he's he's yeah. um it's not much better here now. It's not raining, but it's quite windy. Yeah, it's very wet down here. Well, Philip, look, it is the North London Derby tomorrow. We are going to get on to the Paul Merson comments in a minute because that's something that's got our blood boiling. Um, you, could, you could say that. Yeah. Um, look, what, what's your thoughts ahead of that? We haven't actually done just you and me, Philip, what we think is going to actually happen tomorrow. Look, um, I think it's going to be an open game. I think we're going there with no fear. I think we shouldn't fear them. We don't have to. And I, I think I think we've got a good chance of getting our fourth win at the Emirates, the first since 2010. And I, I really do think Ange is going to get them purring. Um, what, what's your thoughts for tomorrow, Philip? What, what are you hoping to see? I'm hoping to see Arsenal overconfident mm. because I think they've done so well against us in the last few years at their place mm. that they think I've only taught them, you know, as their erstwhile player, Mr. Merson, has been drawing our attention to in no uncertain terms over the last couple of days. But I think Tottenham are going to go there. As you say, we're going to go there tomorrow. Uh, nothing to fear, because Ange Postacoglu is a past master at psyching teams up for big derbies. Mm -hmm. He's done it for Celtic against Rangers for the last two seasons, where I don't think Celtic lost to Rangers. They might have lost the very last game of last season when it didn't, when it didn't matter. But games that mattered against Rangers, Celtic always come out on top. So let's hope Ange has got the players psyched up for this tomorrow. And we'll go out there and surprise a few people. And and I would really, really, I would give a, a King's Ransom to have Paul Merson's phone number to ring him after the match. Yeah. Um. Very quickly, Philip, who's going to be the key players tomorrow, do you think, for Tottenham? I think the key players are going to be the defence. I think Van der Ven and Romero mm. have got a big job to do. I think... Mm -hmm. uh, Doji has got to keep an, a, a careful eye on on Saka, although yeah, he's done definitely. so well, you know, so far. I think I think uh, James Madison is going to have a big role to play too. Mm. And I, I do think our forward line is going to give them trouble. Yeah, I really do. I think we're going to, the pace of our forward line is going to affect them, and uh, we're going to create a few chances tomorrow. What the results going to be? It's up in the lap of the gods, but I do not foresee the kind of result. That Mr. Merson and others are predicting, and we'll go into that now in a minute or two. Yeah, we will look. My thoughts on I think you're right about Van Defender Romero. So I think you're right about Merson as well. Uh, Merson, um, James Madison. Sorry. See, this Merson thing's really got my blood boiling. Um, I think Richarlison could be the key tomorrow, Philip. Could I be. really do. I really do. I think he got sent off last season in the last North London derby there, and I think there's a bit of redemption. Joe. And I think oh, it could be him. Revenge as well. <laughs> well, I think revenge. redemption for him because he hasn't had the great seasons, Philip. He got he's got his first goal for Tottenham last week in the league. Yeah. Um so look, it's gonna be in the, it's the North London derby. Form goes out the window for me. Um but um Poster Cogley will have these players round up fired up. And they always won for last season, Philip. They are us, and they and some of them players do. And I said it earlier, as great as Harry Kane was, as great as other players was, you you look at them players and how great they were, but they never turned up for these games, very rarely. And then if it's a defeat, oh, well, we're going to have a group meeting, or we're going to move on, and we're going to do better. That's not good enough. This time it's different, Philip. This time we're going there. We're going to win. We're going to batter the hell out of them. We're going to send them back to South London where they belong with the tails between their legs. Um, this Paul Merson now, he can go fecking with them because this fella is a fecking idiot. He doesn't know nothing about football. He wasn't a good footballer. He was a crap footballer and he should go back to what he's good at, which is doing nothing. stuff that I can't nothing. say on YouTube, which is nothing, Philip. Now, look, this is one of the quotes that's really got my blood boiling. He says, Arsenal have got better players than our Tottenham. Uh, right, on that first bit, Philip, is, is he blind, stupid, or is he just no brain in his head? So he's saying Ben White is better than Pedro Porro. Yeah. He's saying that Kip the have playing centre-back is better than Romero. Romero is the best centre-back in the world at the moment, according yeah. to the Argentinian press. So Mr. Mm -hmm. Merson obviously doesn't read that. 
then he goes on to say, I can't see anything but an Arsenal win. But he never does. Dermot, I remember, I watched Paul Mercer's predictions last season. If his predictions for the games were correct, Spurs would have finished with eight points for the entire season. Yeah. Right? So that's how much I don't take it. He, he always predicts Spurs to lose or draw. He never, ever yeah. predicted to win. Right? No. The next bit now is a total insult. Insult. It is. It says, I think they were absolutely slaughtered them. Right. Um, where was he when we beat them 3 0 at our place to stop them qualifying for the Champions League? Did he say anything then? No, he didn't. He scurried it's into on. his corner under his rock and hid there. Um, and then he said, I think they'll rip them to shreds. Philip, I, I'm too angry to speak. I mean, I think well, this he, is he also went on to another site, which I'm not quite yeah. sure where it was. He said, I'm very bullish. But I think Arsenal win this game easily, right? Then the next bit down was, we will absolutely destroy them, right? Now, destroy them. Philip, most ex-Arsenal or Tottenham players are very diplomatic when it comes to the North London derby. This fella of couldn't spell the word. No, they, of course they're going to say their team's going to win, but they're always very respectful about the opposition. There's no respect there. Absolutely no. zip. zip. Do you know what I would do if I was Daniel Levy? I would say the next time Arsenal come to our stadium, he he um, cancels Paul Merson's press pass and doesn't mm. let him near the ground. Let him pay his way in if he wants to come. Yeah. And also, Philip, Pastor Cogler should put that up in the dress room tomorrow. Absolutely. Pin it up on the wall. Yeah. Get it extra long. Didn't Fergie do this with Liverpool one time? Liverpool didn't, didn't. Was it Rafa Benit has said something about Man United? And Fergie think, pinned it. That was his yeah. team talk. He pinned it up on the wall and he just said, right, prove him wrong. Yeah. That's all. That, uh, and he's got a very easy team talk tomorrow. He just says, Paul Merson's doing your team talk. There it is. Mm. So Paul Merson can go down in history now. He's given the first team talk in the history of Arsenal Spurs to a Spurs team. Yeah. Um, look, Philip, very quickly. Um, what's your score prediction for tomorrow? I, I'm going to be, I'm going to go. I mean, my, my heart says, uh, um, my head says one each, but after that crap, two won the Spurs. Um, look, my head was going probably for a draw, but I'm I'm going for a three nil Spurs. I think I think we're gonna have to look. They've had Champions League on Wednesday. I think we're gonna the seventy minute mark. We're gonna have too much for them. Yeah, and I yeah. tell you one thing, Philip. If we get it right tomorrow, if we get an early goal, that's going to be crucial. The first goal is going to be crucial in this game tomorrow, to, yeah. to be fair. If it goes our way, we'll win it. No problem. Well, listen, yeah. you can join me, of course, on the Armory TV for the watch along. Uh, it's been streamed on THFC till I die. So get over there and give me a helping hand tomorrow as I go into the enemy's den, um, full of confidence, full of viper, full of deludedness, as Philip likes to call me. No, no, the, the, the only person deluded today, Dermot, you just mentioned his name there a minute ago, Mr. Yeah. Merson. Yeah. And um, Philip, you won't be with me, which should be the first watch along. You won't be there for yeah. you since we no, start. No. Doing them. Unfortunately, I can't. I have another family commitment tomorrow that I have to go yeah. to. Uh, but don't... But it look, starts at 2 o'clock as well, which is ironic. So yeah. it'll be the same time as the match. So listen... If Tottenham win tomorrow, we may do a post-match show tomorrow when Philip gets back. I'm sure Philip would yeah, love to get definitely on. Definitely do a post-match that they win. <laughs> definitely. But listen, yeah. whatever you do, please hit the like button, hit the description button. Come on, you Spurs. Come in on, you Conte Spurs. we trust. Uh, in Conte we trust. Conte in and we trust. What, Philip? Sorry. No, I so said then Paul Merson, eat your heart out, boy, because yeah. we've been eating crumble pie tomorrow evening. Yeah, yeah. I fancy some Arsenal crumble pie tomorrow, Philip. I really do. Crumble, crumble pie with a bit of cream. Come on, yes. you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs.